Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the sea. We are back, um, and I've been doing a little bit of stuff off camera. So first off, um, thank you all for all the comments on the last couple of videos. Um, the last one I recorded a little bit earlier before the one before that and got all the comments. So um, I want to thank you all for all your comments and feedback and telling me stuff that I didn't know about and some stuff that I didn't think about either so that's cool um first off is I've done some stuff I've made the water wheel a little bit different I made some more concrete and um I opened the water up over there so it's um a little bit farther back um and I'm hoping I still don't have a good way to check but I'm hoping that it is um making this water wheel work better because I guess the more uh, water that's flowing the right direction for how the wheels turning the more power it will generate so um, I'm hoping that this is now working uh, better and faster so uh, That'll be nice the witch is still producing blood in there, which um, is good because blood um, We can make congealed blood out of it, which gives a health boost um, Apparently it's poison as well poison and health boost it gives um, but it also can be used as a replacement for slime balls. So if I need, um, to make anything with slime, we can use that for there. Um, another thing that I did was I, uh, started using this, uh, atomic, uh, reconstructor. Um, I put an oil generator down and some oil in it and powered this. So apparently how this works, um, uh, and we're, um, is that you get some stuff like diamonds or iron um, and you use them to make and redstone and you use them to make things like dimension um, uh, these crystals and these crystals I just I don't know um, and a uh, way to use it um, is with the redstone torch you shift right click I believe. Or no, you just right click. So right now it's on pulse mode, which pretty much, which kind of turns it off, I think. Um, either that, or it's you put a block here and it uh, changes the block. I'm not sure, but if I right click, it goes into detection mode. Oh, and now it shoots off. Okay, so that's what it does. Oh, I get it now. And if I throw these down here, no. Before I had this here, so. We're just going to put that back there. Throw these down. And there we go. So we got some energy crystals. Or some, not energy, some Inori crystals out of that. So let's go ahead and turn you back into pulse mode. Um, grab that. So we got these Inori crystals, which are used for um, actually additions uh, mod stuff. Which, according to some, to a lovely person in the comments... Um, is used, we can use actual additions in order to make a ring of water breathing. There we go, ring of water breathing. Requires pufferfish, nether wart, uh, daemonite crystal block, a ring, and a water bottle. The ring is made easy. Um, and there's also a ring of night vision, which is golden carrots and all that stuff. So that is stuff I want to head towards. Um, we have a fair amount of diamonds, not a super large amount, but we have a fair amount. I've made two crystals, so we might be able to make the ring of water breathing, but I need to get a, a puffer fish first. So, um, you can use mana and an alchemy uh, catalyst in order to make um, one, or we can go fishing. Now, uh, something I want to try is making a fish. Do we have a fisher? We have a fish net from Actual Editions, which is an imbued embaric crystal, um, which we make somehow in an imbuer. Okay, so we have to go into the uh, Actual Editions. Um, we have to go down some more of the uh, quests in actual editions. So, we can go ahead and do that. Um, we need to get down to here. So, an imbuer and a displace and four display stands. So, how do we make these? 
M view. Um, pretty sure I'm spelling that wrong. E M P. Imp. Empower, not imbuer. Empower, which requires a display stand, uh, double battery, and some iron casing. And display stand is advanced coil, aesthetic green block, and aesthetic quartz. Aesthetic green block is chiseled quartz. Okay, so it's pretty high stuff in this. Okay, so we're not. I'd, we might not be able to do that right away. Um. We can work on some of this other stuff, like making a powered furnace. That would be a good thing to do. Let's make a powered furnace, shall we? Let's see if we can make a powered furnace. So, uh, I made two of these crystals already. Um, we need four of these, some steel wire. That's easy. Um, and steel. So we need lots of steel. Lots and lots of steel. We need four of those. I've got a bunch of steel. We need these two. And... We need, uh, we don't need any iron, so we actually, we actually need, to, oh, come on, come on. We actually need two of these, so we need all eight of those. So, that's steel, I think that's everything. So, um, we're going to need to make some plates, so let's come down here and let's start making some plates while we work on other things. Go there. Um, so, we need two furnaces, an iron casing, we need uh, some quartz, I have some quartz down here, so we need one quartz for the casing, oh, and our power went out, our power went out, there's three, we're going to need four, and then we're going to need to make some wires, so we can go ahead and make some more plates, and actually... Okay, so the wire thing would um, just make plates easier to do. And I don't have it, do I? No. In essence, because right now we have to um, make them this way. There's that. And that. And basically we just skip a step with the wire. Okay. I'm kind of mumbling to myself, aren't I? Sorry. Um, so, we got the wires. Um, we can make the rods easy. There. So, one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. We got an extra plate. That's fine. Black quartz. Iron casing. And then we need to make these. There we go. We need two furnaces. So we can make those. One, two. And I think that's everything. Iron casing. Furnace, furnace. Basic coil. Aerial crystal. And cobblestone. And there is a powered furnace. Fantastic. Then that reward. We get uh, a bunch of fish and chips. Cool. And there's a coal generator. Could work on that next. And there's the crusher. Now we kind of have a crusher already. But we can still make these in order to get um, the stuff. We don't really need to make the crusher. We get coal coke if we make the coal generator. So that's a possibility. Um, coffee maker. Don't know if we need that. Um, a ring of liquid... Balling. Ring of liquid balling. That's interesting. Don't know what that does. A canola press and a compost. Let's see about those. Let's see. Um, I think the compost is pretty easy. Com compost is uh, any kind of fireproof planks and a wood casing. Wood casing is cheap. Um... And the fireproof planks. Uh, we need a thermic fabricator. Really? And refined... Oh, we need to get... Oh, this is forestry stuff. Oh, great. So, basically, the mod pack has rearranged the recipes so that you need to use everything. That's fun. Um, ooh, a black tie. Ain't that swaggy. Okay, well... Um, don't know if we're going to do work into that stuff. What does the canola press? I think I spelled it out wrong. How is this supposed to be spelled? It's okay, C A N O. Canola. There we go. Canola press is advanced coil canola and that advanced coil is mana oh, mana diamonds. Okay, so yeah, 
everything has been rearranged, so we do actually have to go down every single tree if we're going to uh, advance further in this mod pack. That's fun. Oh well, it's some. It's actually it actually means that we might not be able to cut through everything because some things require mana diamonds. I still wish this worked. I don't know why it doesn't. Um. So that's that. Um, so I guess we should just go ahead and start working on some stuff, shouldn't we? Um, that's blood magic. We don't want to go into blood magic yet. We'll work our progression through. We have an we have an end goal now. We want the ring of water breathing. So I guess what we probably need to do. So. Um, Empower and display stands. So let's let, let's work on display stands first. Actually, you know what we're gonna do first? Uh, I had this in mind to do um, for this episode. Is uh, we're gonna make an auto hammer real quick uh, since we have some iron, just some heavy plates, iron, and a diamond hammer. Um, we're gonna make this because I wanna start smashing up um, uh, these ores that we're getting through the sieve automatically. So. Let's uh, do this real quick. Uh, two should be enough. So I also need a diamond hammer. So we need a couple diamonds. And we're just going to make a regular old uh, sieve. We're not going to make a compressed one. Um, firstly, because I'm not 100% sure if you we can use the compressed one. Um, actually, I should probably check. Diamond hammer. Okay, good. It does take two. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if I can compress the uh, compress these or not. Use. Yeah, it doesn't look like these compress, so there's no point in making a compressed one. Um, most of the gravel I just hammer uh, cobblestone on up, and then we just sift through the da through the um, gravel because yeah, that's all I really am needing right now. So if I put you there, excuse me. So you do need a hammer. So let's go ahead and make a stone hammer. Actually, can I use, um, I have a compressed stone hammer. Can I use that in a regular hammer? Let's find out, shall we? Um, oh, I also have the chicken one. So we'll test both of these. See if we can use, um, Either of them. The chicken one would be nice to use, but we'll see. So, let's see. Can I put you in there? No. Can I put you in there? No. Can I make a regular old stone hammer and put you in there? No. Why not? That's weird. Does it have to be a diamond hammer? Because if it does, this is going to get expensive. This is going to get more expensive than I want it to get. Um, auto hammer. Hammer. Auto compressed hammer. I don't know why this isn't working. I haven't played around with these before, so I don't know why. So I kind of want to know why it's not working. Hmm. The hammer's not going... None of these hammers are going in. It might need a diamond hammer, which if it does, that's kind of annoying. Um, we're going to leave these in here for now. Um, I'm actually going to pick you up and put you in here as well. Um, if you guys know if it needs a diamond hammer or not, then please let me know. Um, I may look it up, but I mean, don't know if I'll have time. But um, So if you guys know... Uh, go ahead and let me know if it needs a diamond hammer or not. Um, actually, you know what we could do? Is we could test it real quick to see if it even needs a hammer. It has a slot for one. So my assumption would be it needs a hammer. But my assumption could be wrong. So let's connect you up. Get some power going into you. Um, and then I should be able to just take one of these and plop them in there. And it looks like it doesn't actually need a hammer. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if it's like if you want to upgrade the hammer. But that's cool. Okay, so we don't actually need a hammer. Good. That's glad. 
So we can just avert everything that I just said. So, there's that. Um, so that will smash up this stuff. I probably need to get another, build another hopper. And have the hopper feed into here, at least temporarily, so I can put a bunch of stuff in. Um, so, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Let's make a hopper. So, hoppers are always useful, too. So, even if we start upgrading and want to automate this so that it's less manual work, then we can do that. So that I don't even have to do this. But that's good. So, I'll do that. We can grab those. So, my powered lanterns are out again. That's fine. That's you. That's normal. So, I probably should start moving some of this other stuff down. Probably. Um, but that's that. Alright, cool. So, uh, we got the auto hammer up. We made a powered furnace, which I should start using. Um, for sure. So... Um, if I put you there... That's interesting. It's an interesting powered furnace. Let's pick you back up. So... Um... Everything compressed. We're going to need some more auto compressors if I really want to automate this. Um, but I really don't know how much I want to automate. Because we'll need, um, comp we'll need two more compressors, probably. And one more hammer if I want to get a full automated system to go through and sift down and break down all of the ores automatically. Which we could do. Wouldn't it be super hard? It's just going to be power consuming and and some resource consuming. But it probably would be worth it. Hmm. In fact, it most definitely would be worth it. Huh. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll let that, we'll let that tick by. Um, give me these. Um, we'll put these in here for now. Um, so, if I set this up, we put the sieve here, goes into a compactor, goes into a hammer, goes into a compactor. Uh, we have to go higher up. Let's just dig this whole bit out, shall we? I think I broke that wrong. So... Um, I will need some more stuff. Let's see. Alright. You know, I probably should do this off camera. Um, would probably be the better thing to do. Break that. Break that. Break that. So, um, put you and you and you and you and all of these that I can, which is not very many. Alright, so, um... So we have the sieve there, compactor, Ugh. all right, so sieve, compactor, hammer, compactor, sieve, um, I don't have the mesh, that's not the mesh, that's the mesh. So put you in there, and then we put you there, and you there. So the problem will come when we need to filter stuff out, but that's not a huge problem right now. So we can't put those there. We can put these in here. We can put all of our ores back. Or um, these can go in there. They'll go there. And now, let's grab some concrete and build up, up, up. You, you, and up one more. You. And now we grab our wires. One wire. Two wires. Break this. And three wires. 
Alright, so that will at least break everything down into sand. Um, sand level. Um, and yeah, okay, well, um, this has been interesting. So, what I think I'm going to do is, all I need is a, another... Yeah, we'll end right at the bottom um, in one of these. So, what I think we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, end the episode here. Um, and then I will make another uh, auto compressor if I have the resources, and another uh, automatic hammerer. So we can have this set up to go through everything. Now, there's the problem, is we get blocks of coal coke. Why do I have a block of coal coke in here? Was that from a quest or something? I don't know. Where did I get that coal coke from? Oh, you know what it is? It's because I put the coal coke. I put the coal coke in here, so it compressed it. That's what. Derp. Um, so I will just have to filter out um, the other stuff that I get, like gems and stuff. But that's fine. That's not a huge deal. Um, we got some lead in there. So um, I'm gonna stop rambling and end this episode. So I'll make the auto compressor and automatic hammerer, so that we can uh, get this stuff all the way down to the uh, base level and then probably set up the powered furnace somewhere and use that to cook up all the resources which will be nice and then everything will be in a usable form all right cool so that sounds like a plan for in between episodes and um i'm sure we'll figure something out uh i'm gonna we have a goal in mind is to push towards making the ring of water breathing and possibly, probably the Ring of Night Vision too, so that we can go ahead and head on out into the ocean and explore. So, um, thank you all so much for joining me in this episode. Um, and, yeah, um, just thank you all for all the comments and uh, information and encouragement and everything, and it's just awesome. So, Thank you all for that, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.